Hello and thank you for tuning into this episode of Animals and Ames. My name is Ron Edwards. I'm the Animal Control Supervisor here for the Ames Animal Shelter and Animal Control Program. Today our special guest host is Abby and I have to mention that today is Abby's birthday so very excited that she came to work today um, and not celebrating her birthday but uh, that she's celebrating her birthday by showing our adoptable animals that we have here at the shelter. So we have some amazing dogs to meet and some beautiful kittens and of course a very, very special kitty that needs a very special home. A cat that's been in a shelter far too many times in her life and uh, definitely needs to find that permanent home that's going to love her forever and take care of her. And of course, a home with no other pets is really what she's looking for. So let's uh, see the uh, birthday girl and some animals at the Ames Animal Shelter. Alrighty, my first friend today is Jessie. Jessie is a five-year-old shepherd hound mix. Uh, she was um, originally an out-of-state transfer to the Boone Area Humane Society. Um, they have a lot of good relationships with rescues from other states that um, are overly full and sometimes it's a life-saving situation to get them out of that other shelter. Um, but Boone had, um, the Boone Area Humane Society had a lot of dogs come in a very short period of time. It's kind of a a nationwide phenomenon right out right now there are a lot of dogs and shelters so we had a couple of empty kennels so we transferred over her and Trudy who you'll get to meet next um, so like I said uh, she's a five-year-old shepherd hound mix uh, she's a really great dog <laughs> um, she uh, is a little intense when she sees cats so we're probably gonna recommend not a home with cats um, she does really like other dogs she definitely wants to play um, and she does phenomenally with kids I mean she loves children so she'd be a really great family dog um, she does have um, a little bit of energy she's still pretty young um, she loves to play tug with toys which I brought a toy up here just in case we needed to have some distraction <laughs> uh, but she so she has a lot of playfulness in her so if you're looking for an active dog that's also capable of being a couch potato at the end of the day Jessie would be a really great option for that because um, she does do a really good job of settling once she's been exercised she's a little bored here which is very common um, we do our best to get them yeah I know it um, we do our best to get them lots of exercise but at the end of the day she's in an animal shelter so she does get chatty when she sees things she wants or right next to one of the cat rooms so she's um, we'd have to do a little bit more formal cat testing with her she's a little intense when she sees the cats and it's hard to know if she just really wants to play or if she's trying to figure out if it might be a good snack so we're, if you have cats we'd need to double check that first but um, overall really really sweet dog um, like I said we are uh, um, experiencing a lot of dogs coming in lately so uh, we're definitely looking for lots of families for lots of dogs uh, our application is on our website um, so in order to do a more formal process where you get to come in and actually we get her out of the kennel, do some adoption counseling with her, um, you'd want to fill out that online application um, before um, coming down and we'll just schedule you a time to come in. Um, and you can do that on our website at amesanimalshelter.org. And right on there is the um, a button that you can click that says adopt. And then you kind of take the process from there. So um, if you're interested in Jesse, we'd love to see an application come in from you. And our next friend today is Trudy. Trudy is another transfer from the Boone Area Humane Society. Um, she is, <laughs> she's two years old uh, and we think she's maybe like a, a terrier beagle mix. Um, she's got kind of the characteristics of both. She could have other things mixed in too. Um, I know we say this a lot, but she could be a really fun one to do a DNA test on because she it's, you know, it's impossible to know exactly what she's gonna have all in her. But I can tell you whatever it is, it turned her into an amazing dog. If you are looking for a cuddle buddy, this is it. <laughs> she, everyone she meets, she will throw herself into your lap and she will stay there <laughs> until you stand up. She is so loving and so affectionate. Um, she uh, is young, she's two, so she definitely could um, still be a dog that can be active. She'd go for lots of walks and, um, you know, the while the Beagle might be a little bit more of a lazy breed, if there's some Terrier in there, they tend to be a little bit more higher energy. So um, hopefully she'd get a good mix and she'd be a good walking buddy. She mines really well. Um, very, very, very sweet. Like I said, she will throw herself into your lap when she sees you. <laughs> um, so she would do great 
with kids um, in typical um, little dog hearted fashion, even though I, she's probably more medium sized. She does have a tendency to bark at other dogs when they go by, um, but she has no problems being with other dogs. So um, if you had like a home with a, a wire fence, you'd have to be aware that she might bark at you know, dogs and people as they go by. Um, but that's nothing to do with her not being perfectly fine with dogs. Um, she does well with children too. She's very affectionate. Um, she does settle really well around kids. So um, great, just like Jessie, would be a really great family dog. She'd be great for anyone, but um, if you're looking for a dog with kids and um, an active family, um, but a dog that's not gonna be so intense it takes up all of your 24 seven energy, she'd be a great option for that. Um, she is already spayed, as was Jessie. Everyone spayed and neutered before they're formally adopted, and she's up to date on all of her vaccinations. Um, everyone has a microchip, and we do heartworm test our dogs, and they get monthly um, flea uh, and heartworm preventative every, every month. So um, she is all ready to rock and roll to go to her forever home. Um, and just like with Jessie, you could just apply for her on our website, and that's just at aimsanimalshelter.org. And our next friend today is Anya. Um, like the best of things, we have to unwrap her in order to be able to see her. She is a kitty that we refer to as kind of a cave dweller. She likes to be down low and she loves to hide underneath things. Um, so she's hiding underneath her rug because I took away her other hidey things so you guys could see her. Um, she's very, very, very sweet. She's eight years old. Um, she has a little bit of a sad story. She was originally adopted from us as a kitten with her sister. Um, and uh, the, her family lived over in the county area and they had um, surrendered Anya due to some litter box issue she was having that they hadn't taken her to the vet for. Um, so they surrendered her by herself to the county shelter um, and we just happened to, as a transfer program with the county shelter, bring her over here and scanned her for a microchip and realized that she was actually originally adopted from us. And she has a sister out there that she might be missing. Um, uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to make contact with the original family to get more details or see if they were interested in getting her back um, because she did have a urinary tract infection, which was the reason why she was having the litter box issues. So um, uh, we did adopt her out recently to another family that had another cat in the home with the hopes that since she grew up with another cat, she would do well. Um, but she's just, she's a nervous kitty. Um, the other cat wasn't doing anything wrong, but Ani was just very nervous about living with a friend. Um, so an ideal situation for Anya, um, and it's not going to be every home, um, is going to be a really quiet home with no other pets. Um, maybe someone who has a really quiet lifestyle. Uh, I don't think she would do great in a family that has small children or that does a lot of entertaining with lots of guests and strangers coming over often. Um, but someone who lives a really quiet lifestyle that just wants a quiet friend with them would be perfect for her. Um, so, and she's very, very sweet. Um, she's only been here since Saturday, so she's still going through that adjustment period of being back at the shelter. But when she was here last time, even when she would hide, if you would call her name or wiggle your fingers at her, she'd come running out to say hi. So, um, she really is a sweet cat. I, I feel so badly for her that she has to be back here again and that she's been through all these things. Um, We'll have to weigh her and see. I think she's a little chunkier than she, she was here last. Uh, so, you know, she, um, and she was a chunky girl even the first time she came to us. So a lot of times, in addition to having urinary tract infections, having a lot of weight on them can also make cats really prone to having urinary issues. So um, weight loss would be great for her. Um, she is on some anxiety medication right now just to help her out. So um, she's not gonna fit into every home, but um, someone who's looking for a really quiet, sweet cat, she be so amazing for. Um, so if you're interested in Anya, um, if you uh, can just fill out the application on our website, we will schedule you a time to come in and meet this very, very, very sweet and pretty girl. And my last guests, but um, possibly the cutest ones, <laughs> are uh, three little kitten girls um, named Megara, Giselle, and Tiana. So all named after Disney princesses. I lost one. She ran away to the other side of the cage. She'll come back. Here, baby. Come here. Um, but these three little ladies are all seven weeks old. They were surrendered from a home where 
Um, they had an accidental litter. So uh, they were able to adopt out some of the kittens from the litter, but not all of them. Um, so the uh, um, owners asked for some help from us, placing them for adoption or to be able to find them homes. So um, everyone is typically spayed and neutered um, when they hit two criteria points um, with kittens. So they have to be at least eight weeks old. So we're a week away from that. Um, and they have to be at least two pounds. So um, they will be spayed soon. Uh, so they're not quite ready to go home yet, but they are in our adoption room, ready to start meeting some potential new families. Oh, I know, it's so exhausting. So we've got two almost twinsies. You can tell them apart because one has an all gray nose and one has a pink nose. And then we've got this really beautiful brown tabby girl here too. So um, they were raised in a home with small children. So they are very affectionate, very sweet. They'll very quickly, you know, you can see headbutt your hand and rub all over you. Um, and they're very, actually for kittens, I mean, they still have lots of energy, but sometimes you have kittens that are just absolutely bouncing off the walls. And these guys are pretty good. Their kennel's not too trashed in the mornings and they're all around very affectionate. So we are ready to start introducing them to families. Um, you just kind of have to know it might be a couple weeks before they can go home, but um, good things come to those who wait. And I think these kittens will be absolutely worth it. So um, like I said, very sweet, very affectionate. Um, they do have their claws, of course, and um, we need them to stay that way. Kitties come with claws and we want them to stay that way. Um, if you're interested in learning more about declawing, you can always visit a website called thepawproject.com. Um, actually, I'm sorry, thepawproject.org. <laughs> um, and they have lots of information on there about um, all of the um, downsides of declawing and all the benefits of them keeping their claws. So I'm definitely looking for situations where these little ladies can keep their paws. Um, yeah, I know. And of course, one of the really important things as they get older is to not let them do what they're doing just now and play with your hands. You always want, if they start chewing on your hands, give them a toy, because that's how we keep naughty habits from coming, right babies? Um, so like I said, these three little girls will be ready to go home soon and they're ready for applications and you can submit that on our website at aimsanimalshelter.org. Well, that's our show for today. Again, I want to thank Abby for showing these animals here today. Um, these are just a sampling of the animals we have available for adoption. I have to say that Jesse is an amazing dog, um, has a lot of energy, as you saw, um, and so is Trudy. She's also a very special dog and just wants to curl up on your lap. And of course, those kittens couldn't be any cuter. And Anya, um, that very special kitty that's looking for that forever home. Um, again, she's been in a shelter far too long in her life and it's time for her to be in that permanent home where she's going to live out the rest of her life and be a happy kitty. So I want to thank everybody for watching the show today and uh, supporting the Ames Animal Shelter. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us. Our phone number is 515-239-5530. You can always check out our website to see which animals are available for adoption and that is amesanimalshelter.org. And our Facebook page is also active too with lost pets, uh, pet tips, and other information that you can see about the animals here in our community and everything that we do to help animals in Ames. Thank you.